Hey guys, it's Chris from Highline Guitars. Welcome to another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned your subscription. Today's question has to do with guitar neck reinforcement. Which is better, carbon fiber reinforcement strips or titanium? Both are available and both are designed specifically for that purpose. So the question is, is one better than the other? Is one going to do a better job of keeping the neck stable, nice and straight? And is, does one have an advantage as far as resonance and sustain is concerned? The short answer is no, there is no difference. You can use either one. The long answer, however, gets a little bit more complicated. So I'll try to explain the long answer and I'll do so hopefully as quickly as I can. <laughs> I've used carbon fiber for a, a number of years on mini guitars to reinforce the neck. And basically what I'm talking about is keeping the neck straight so that it doesn't warp or bend or twist in unpredictable ways, especially when humidity levels change. It also helps resist the pull of the strings, keeping the neck nice and straight. They do, however, allow you to adjust the truss rod if you want to induce a little bit of relief towards the center of the neck. And that no reinforcement method is going to completely resist the effect of the truss rod. But you'll find that in a neck that's been reinforced, it does take a little bit more work to adjust that truss rod to induce some relief. Now the question as to which one, carbon fiber or titanium, does a better job, in my experience, titanium is a little bit more bendy, I don't, for lack of a better way to describe it. Carbon fiber rods are very stiff and they're hard to bend. So when they're installed in the neck, I think they do a better job of keeping the neck stable. That's not to say that the titanium doesn't keep the neck stable. It, it certainly does. However, it, it isn't as stiff as the carbon fiber. Now that might be important for someone who is concerned about having that ability to adjust the truss rod to induce relief. But I find that most people who want carbon or want some sort of neck reinforcement want that neck to remain absolutely stable and they're not as concerned with relief towards the center. So in my opinion, carbon fiber is the better choice simply because of its stiffness, but also because it's a lot cheaper than titanium. Titanium uh, reinforcement rods can be really expensive. Now, titanium rods are often advertised as having better resonance and sustain. Is that true? Well, we really have no way of knowing because the only way that you could test that would be to make a neck complete without any sort of reinforcement. Install it onto the guitar, string it up, intonate the strings, adjust the action, and then play it, recording the results with an audio analyzing software program. Then you would remove the strings and then you'd have to remove the fretboard without damaging it route slots for the reinforcement strips, then you would have to install your, probably the carbon fiber first. And here's where it gets to be a problem because when you install carbon fiber stiffening rods, you have to uh, epoxy them into place. And that's gonna pose a problem as you'll see in just a minute. But you would install those rods, put the fretboard back on, reinstall the strings, tune, intonate, adjust the action, and play it again, recording those results with your audio analyzing software program. Then you'd have to take it all apart, remove the carbon fiber rods, and replace them with the titanium rods. Put everything back together, string it up, intonate it, and then record your uh, results in audio analyzing software. Then you would compare the three. Now, obviously, that's not feasible. I mean, that's just not practical in any way. Now, some of you will say, well, why not just build three different guitars, one without reinforcement, one with carbon fiber, and then one with titanium? Well, sure, you could do that, but the results are worthless because the wood itself, 
could be different from one neck to the next in terms of its resonance and sustain. So you couldn't really bank on the results that you found. So really, I think what a lot of folks who claim that titanium has better resonance and sustain is because of other tests that have been done on the material itself. And when compared to carbon fiber, it might have a little bit more resonance and, and the potential for sustain. However, we can't tell, and there's no, like I said, no reliable test that we can do to prove that. Plus, we have to consider that the reinforcement strips are very small, and you typically will put two in a guitar neck. I don't think that this amount of material is gonna have any effect whatsoever on the tone and sustain. I've used both materials to reinforce guitar necks. However, I always seem to go back to carbon fiber, but that's my own choice. I, I really think what it comes down to is there are three things to consider when choosing which material to use to reinforce a neck. First of all, how much stiffness do you want in that guitar neck? If you want maximum stiffness, if you want that neck to remain absolutely straight and level, and you're probably not gonna mess around with the truss rod very much, then carbon fiber would be the way to go. If, however, you want that neck to have a little bit of give so that you can adjust the truss rod, then titanium might be the choice. Also, uh, the second factor to consider is price. Carbon fiber is much cheaper. Um, at least it, when I've shopped for it, it, it was quite a bit less expensive. So there's that to consider. And then the third is weight, because you're removing a little bit of wood, but then you're replacing it with another material, which is going to add weight and how much weight is it going to add? Carbon fiber weighs practically nothing. Uh, titanium is a little bit heavier. But like I said before, these are very thin strips, so uh, their presence is minimal. And I don't think you really have to worry too much about the difference in the weight between titanium and carbon fiber. But that said, uh, I'm always just going to stick with uh, the carbon fiber. I don't, I don't see any advantage to spending more for the titanium. Um, I can still get some neck adjustability with the truss rod. Uh, it just isn't as easy with uh, carbon fiber as it is with the titanium. And for that reason, whatever truss rod you end up using, you want to make sure it's a good quality truss rod and it's not one that's going to strip out too easily because you may have to apply a little bit more force, even with the titanium, to get the neck to adjust for relief if that's what you're after. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. If so, give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope I've earned your subscription. And until the next episode, as always, take care, stay safe, and I hope you'll be back for the next episode.